Okay. I think we're live. I see the thing at the bottom of the screen, which means we're good. Hey, so, okay. everybody, welcome to the KSI August Town Hall question and answer extravaganza, Electric Boogaloo. We worked on that. We've workshopped that title. Um, we have a like nice collection. Well. Um, we have a nice collection of people here. You can see them on the screen. MP Bearded, Fuzzy, Greg, Veritas, and Hooters. We're going to have other guests join throughout the evening. Hopefully answer your questions, um, entertain you with our GTA playing, and make you feel like, uh, you know, you matter because you do, champ. You're the best at what you do. You're all special. Um, what we're going to be doing tonight, on top of answering questions, is we will be playing GTA Overtime Rumble. It's a fun little game type on GTA. You play it through the uh, adversary mode, and it's pretty fun. So... Bear with us. Have some fun. If you have questions, throw them in the Twitch chat. Um, we're going to read questions that were previously submitted. Try to answer them. Have a good time. And we're going to get out of here in like a tight hour, hour and a half, I think. Maybe longer. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> well, you said it was a lot uh, of Fuzzy options. left. And Fuzzy left. Really? So we got to invite Fuzzy back. Someone want to invite Fuzzy back? Oh, in this this whole game ready. is ridiculous. Are you ready to Sitting go? Sitting in a lobby. Are I supposed to be scrolling up and down? Yeah, I think. Oh yeah, I'm changing your... the radio station. Something. Yeah, move your know. controller, you guys. Absolutely absurd. It's dumb. Um, also, while we're here, might as well go in and make some pitches for things. Um, anybody else here? Like Rita, do you have uh, Weekend Warfare? Pitch that as well. I don't have it in front of me, but uh, for some announcements for y'all, for some fun stuff going on in this community. Um, news team is doing so. You think you can write again? Um, that's open. It's writing prompts. They're fun things for you to be able to express yourself on the prompt that's given. Um, do different things. And that closes on Sunday, so you only have like another 24, 48 hours to do it. You want to go into the new site and uh, contribute there. You have a chance to win a prize. There's actual a physical prize, a, a, a money value attributed to the possible winner and the two runner-ups. Um... In productions, we have three podcasts for you each week. The Gary Ago Show, Talk About Things, and our newest one, Iron Man with KSI Chicago. They will be streamed live on the Twitch at varying times through the week, and they will be ported over to YouTube for you to watch whenever you want after the fact. Go give us a like if you enjoy it. Oh. If Don't downvote if you don't. <laughs> um... Also with productions, the montage competition that we do with Upload Studio is open for September, and it's open for the next two weeks. So if you have clips from any time, any place, anywhere on your Xbox One, throw them into a montage and get them in there, um, and you have a chance to get your uh, montage featured on the YouTube if you're top three. And if you're the first one in any given month, you get entered into a community-wide vote um, come now the award show. And the winner of the community-wide vote gets a prize. Money is included again because money is the best way to motivate people other than sex and food. We cannot provide Makes the world go around. <laughs> so as I continue to do this, we're going to go and start this up now that we got all of our people in the lobby or the people we currently have. Um, Y'all, I figure we just go random team since it's kind of a weird mix. We could go yeah. board versus not board. Could do that. If Veritas and Bearded on their own. Uh, Let's do it. Me, Veritas, oh, yeah, yeah. Hooters might Hooters. still be in the bathroom. Well, look at the, oh, look at that. It already no, set the team. <laughs> Let's do this. I'm oh, still hey, here. Club. What's going on, bud? Um, so, you know, Greg, you open the parachute with the left stick. And then, or no, you jump with the left stick and you open the parachute with the A button. <laughs> um, unless you change your controls. You really don't even have to use the left stick to set the ramp and then hit your parachute. Chicago, if I just want to say, we didn't invite you. You were not on. It's your fault. <laughs> you have, oh, you have popped up. Wait a say that again. How do I open the parachute? You press A. Just hit the A, a button. It should be A. Unless you change your controls, in which case you're just going to be randomly pressing buttons and just falling to your death. And <laughs> the object is to land in the middle. <laughs> control. Okay, go ahead, and you have a you have a time to uh, jump. 
Give me a little time to hang out. Uh, I hope you got the place so that I can use him to score. Like the <laughs> <clears throat> oh, well, I'll tell you what, Fuzzy, we'll, we'll go back to our uh, little, what we were doing last time where I kept <clears throat> screwing you over. <laughs> Just as long as I be malicious to Chicago. If you're horrible to Chicago, <laughs> I'm horrible to you, man. Lovely. Uh oh. Good. I need my cake. I need. I need. I need. Uh, I need Rita, what are you doing down there? <laughs> Good intro to the party. <laughs> I would All right. To and play once we get this first if. round done, we'll uh, we'll That's start funny. with a couple questions. <coughs> uh, I overshot. Uh, uh, who oh, who is this? this? Uh, you gave me an extra <laughs> point. What'd that do for you? <laughs> I missed. Oh, rip. oh no. Oh man. We're losing after one. I'll tell you what, I've got a question. Oh, How is Jesus. everyone today? <laughs> We're all pretty good so far. I am not. Thanks for asking. Okay. <laughs> I was sharing. <laughs> oh. Oh, no! Don't oh, break it no. again! It oh, did you run into each other? <laughs> Oh yeah. shit, I pressed- oh crap, sorry. I, I pressed my parachute way too early, I'm gonna <laughs> You're not gonna make it back. No, oh, I'm so dead. Right, He's like so... way crooked. Forget it, I'm just gonna die. Uh, <sighs> this points me, Greg. We have to stagger how we go. <laughs> well, you'll have to go first, and then, well, you know what I mean? Because that system did not work. Oh, screw oh. you. He's quite proficient at this game. <laughs> until someone sabotaged me. Speaking of, of screw MP, um, so <laughs> we do have you go first, <laughs> we do have weekend warfare. We have obviously this week's weekend warfare and the next week's weekend warfare are the ones that have been scheduled. So this week's uh, August twenty sixth, twenty seventeen, um, will be a Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered Hardcore three v three. Uh, obviously, that'll be on the Xbox One. Just made that like a pro. Um, and then also there will be a Trials Fusion uh, tournament along with that. And then when we look into next week's, oh, I'm not gonna make that. My bad, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Greg, you gotta turn over. Turn your car. You gotta be on your wheels to get points. Nope, go, oh, no, turn, go the the other way, turn the other way, turn the other way. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> we'll be on uh, yeah. September 2nd, obviously Saturday again. That's a Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 tournament. And a Destiny 3v3 elimination. So all of those tournaments are, uh, are at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, this week's have been already posted. Sadly, no one's uh, signed up yet. So, Fuzzy, you let go of the brakes. Oh no, we're let your, crash uh, again. <laughs> <laughs> let your people know, and uh, maybe we can get some activity and, and involvement in Lincoln Warfare. That'd be awesome. Oh yeah. Greg, I don't got it down the ramp. I rode my slow the, down uh, the ramp. Keeping on the department stuff. Uh, I'm guessing all the way. Also, if you look on the production it, session, there is an area where you can submit short clips that could be featured on the Facebook or the Twitter. Oh, I almost hit her. <laughs> what? Would have on been bad, I'd hit her towards the middle. Yeah, oh. baby. We're gonna lose this game because of Gregory. Wait, we, are, we scored one we more point tied. than this now? <laughs> we're tied. We, we're yeah. tied? Five. What? Okay, Greg, Damn. you have to land. Why do you guys go? Right, now, game, Greg, game face is on Fuzzy, now. go. Listen, now, Greg, we've already tried the using strategy. Greg, you just stay to the left, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> um, Buzzy, how many points have you scored so far? Uh, I don't know. I got a five last round, and then a couple twos. Oh, okay. Well, if, well, if uh, but I end up not getting an invite well, to the I game, I'll Chicago help you out. Here. Right. <laughs> I had a feeling. <laughs> I think we've got to wait until they finish that. About load of games. Yeah, Fuzzy uses me like a backboard at this point, you know, just yeah. extra cushion to make well, sure. Extra cushion for the, the pushing. Oh, motherfuckers. Look at this shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, dream team! Dream team! Yes! Yeah. I think we got this because Bearded only got two. What? How? Oh, Because I got a five. 
Wait, I apparently like can't. Don't, 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 don't take that. Don't take the five out of yourself. We got dual fives, okay, ma'am. Okay, well, that's round <laughs> one. Team, team non board, they're one round closer to getting blacklisted. Wow. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, uh, why we'll don't we go in and get a question? Yeah. From... yeah. Jeez. Yeah, I'm sorry. We were on the same page. Oh, you fucked up my flow. <laughs> Started again. <laughs> Let's start with a question from uh, one of our own panel members, Gary. It is, uh, what advice could you give to a department member that's interested in working towards a co-head position? Is that like, that seems like something I should be able to answer. Seems like something that you okay. can answer, yeah. Well, I, I would agree. say murder is always on the table if they can't trace it to but you. Through attrition. <laughs> or large amounts of money. Um, now, to be honest, I think, and this goes for, I, I even expand it, and then we can get more people in on the answer. I think it's showing initiative. It's showing the initiative and showing that you want to get there. We're not mind readers. If I'm running a department, I can't, I don't know that you're interested in running a department or playing a bigger role in the department if you don't talk to me and you don't let me know what your intention is. Um... And I think too often people don't. Oh, um, freaking balls. I don't Sorry. think people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think people uh, use their communication enough to let people know what they want. And you have to you have to communicate and you have to be willing to. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> and you have to be willing to. Uh, Your car just got <laughs> <laughs> and you have to be willing, yeah, you, and you have to be oh willing to God. do more. Um, that's really what it comes down to. You have to take on a greater role in yourself, and you have to work with the head or the co-head or whoever to make sure that you're on the same page. You're not going anywhere if no one knows that you want to go there and you don't want to put in the work. And I think that, like I said, that goes for clan ops too. It goes for someone who wants. It goes for a sergeant who wants to be an officer. It goes for a general who wants to be a kofo. It goes for a div leader that wants to be a director. I mean, at every level, it's still the same answer, I think. And does anyone else have any opinion on that? Well, it's not pretty much really. really. You, you've got to be in it to win it, aren't you? you? Don't ask. You don't know. Well, I mean, what are your goals? You know, it all depends on the person too. Much as initiative, everything else is important. It really depends on what your goals, what you're trying to do with that department. Oh. All right. Most people move towards the top, not only because they can manage it, not only because they can work with the fellow members in the department, but it's also, yeah, innovation. What can you bring to the table that's better than just uh, the next person in line who's a manager? Yeah, it's got to go above and beyond, really. How come Vortex always ends up joining our uh, games? Every time. Vortex, do you not get it? <laughs> how did how he get it? works okay. of equal what? teams. It's oh, Fuzzy, let's go. Um, yeah, I just, I I'll know. stay left. I can't play it I'll stay left if you go right. Yeah, but no, I agree. That on the line of um, just leadership in general, and basically everything. Make it known you want the position. You can't just expect somebody to, like it can be said, read your mind and know you want the position. Make people aware so that they know that they can kind of bring you up. Don't do it in like. A sleaze bag method. Some people try to take it by not communicating with anybody and just assuming that they'll move up because they've been there the longest. No. Yeah, and, and don't and don't assume. Work to be done. And when we tell you to make your point known and let people know where you want to go, what you want to work for, just simply saying I want to move to this co-head spot, you're not entitled to that co-head spot. It's letting them know so they can work with you, but just doing that does not give you that spot. And make sure that you understand that action has to follow the talk. We are getting our asses whooped. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a bit You're of very a inspired. <laughs> you guys got this, come on. Four eight points <laughs> behind? Four eight points behind? <laughs> Definitely building connections with other people as well, above that person, or not necessarily trained to outsell yourself, but just making sure that people know who you are is making, you know, 
it's a good way to get everyone so everyone knows who you are you know knows who, who how you talk to people you know invite people to into your game nights parties having a bigger impact with other people will help you move farther as well there's a chance to oh, open the door working. I thought I would someone hit me someone on purple team hit me <laughs> well, the other are taking the route of just doing circles. For yeah, Greg! Because yeah, apparently we're a very slow moving game. <laughs> almost got you. Yeah, okay, fine. Glide your ass right in there to five. Another, another bit to add to that, um, that question that Gary asked. Um, <laughs> if, <laughs> yeah, if you think, oh, of, nice if you think of it like real life, you know, in your actual job, you know, if you want a promotion, what have you got to do to get that promotion to get moved up? Yeah, it's just, it, it's similar to you know a department. Mr. Bird, yeah, most definitely. Just, whatever. Yeah, and, and someone who's uh, as someone who's moved up in both the department and the clan op side of of things, um, yeah, it, it's it's kind of you know if you can get one down, the other's pretty similar. Um, you know, KSI, even though we have our different, you know, areas of KSI and our different, you know, operations that we, we do, it, hard work, like Greg said, networking and just, you know, uh, determination and drive will, will get you, you know, if, if you're looking for that coal head spot uh, or any kind of leadership spot in KSI, th those traits are what will get you to that eventual goal. Um, you know, and obviously having your your mindset in the right place too. That's right, five. Um, <laughs> That's five worry, for Bearded, not for you. Yeah. I <laughs> oh, I didn't get five. <laughs> yeah, no, I, were, I guess I'm in the target zone. It's so funny. My left quarter panel, my right quarter panel, then. Bob. I mean, fudge. Where are you? Nah, that still wasn't enough. Um, uh, <laughs> I feel so bad. This game just called me a loser. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, sorry for you know, that's kind of the way to go. No, you're 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 good. Trust me, I was I was distracted as well. Um, but yeah, those Let traits will will get you whatever you want in this community. Um, you know, if that's your goal, if that's yeah, your goal, that those traits will get you there. Yep, everything. Leadership's leadership. Doesn't matter if it's I'm pretty on. sure once we get back to the other menu, you can boot Vortex. <laughs> it's better if you're on the uh, the playground, playing a pickup game of football or soccer after school when you're a kid, or if you're in a whatever this environment work. Leadership's leadership. No, there, no. What are you guys voting a... for that? What are you voting for that? For? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, actually, yeah, no. That one's the no. Like that you guys one. are you guys are all the devil. You are the absolutely. The devil. <laughs> I didn't see the vote. Right. I'm so high. This right. one's uh, this one's more of a person to person. Not everyone has to answer, but we can kind of go down the list and just try to keep it, you know, not super long monologues. But it's uh, a nice question from a nice lad. It is what is one thing that you right now? Wish you had known back when you first joined. Are we doing serious and answers or kind of funny, not serious answers? What What are you expecting here? I'm just it is whatever different. answer you'd like to give. Okay, cool. Uh, for me, probably that it's uh, KSI isn't a race. My goal at every rank, for a probably up until I got to director, was to get to the next rank. And then lo and behold, like 85% of my career has been the CEO, which is great, and not everyone will get there. And, you know, I'm not, like, sour graping the idea, but uh, I also missed out on, like, I was in squads for maybe four or five months. Not even. I was in a squad for, like, two months. I was in a, in a division for, like, three or four months tops. Like, I just, I missed out on a large group in a large area of what KSI is, and I was middle management and a director within five months of clan, uh, clan ops activity uh, then three months in like non clan ops stuff and then I became a director so I missed out literally so yeah five months of my nine and a half year career was actually in a division 
So I just kind of wish I wasn't in such a hurry to get to the next level back then and actually just uh, enjoyed it. Um, real fast, guys. Somebody oh. invite pliers. I did it through the uh, thing. Remember, I can't go back for real invites. So I'm, I'm here. Oh, so you're good? Well, no, you're in the party. Are you in the uh, lobby? The lobby oh, for the, uh, not in the rebel. game. Yeah, no. Yeah. All right. Bearded, you got anything? Um, I mean, honestly, I would just <laughs> say that uh, I wish I had gotten involved with more departments. I mean, I joined the news team back when I was, I think, a captain. But, I mean, I've pretty much only done the news team. I mean, obviously, I still have that opportunity, so I'm trying to uh, broaden my horizons. But uh wish I had gotten into another department sooner, I guess. Yeah, it's like easy Try to get a different ex Yeah, exactly. Get a different experience, you know. Chicago, since you asked a lovely question, would you give us a lovely answer? Oh man, um, you lovely lad. You lovely, lovely lad. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh. I guess it's kind of just like, you know, self-realization here, but I would just say realizing that, um, you know, things come up and there are other options than just dropping everything and leaving. And ironically enough, I never learned that, but that is what I wish <laughs> I would have known when I was first, like, what I know now compared to what I, you know, when I first joined. If I would have known that, I would have been set. Yeah, yeah, just time heals most. And everything always seems like the worst, <laughs> you know, isn't that another thing in life? It always seems yeah. like the worst thing ever, and then something worse happens, and it puts the uh, last one in perspective. <laughs> Every day right. is the worst day of your life. <laughs> Couldn't get any worse, so <laughs> I was wrong. Are we doing board? Are we doing board? Is... We are not. We are not. Uh, this is random it's teams. It's board, um, Vortex. Whoa. It's been so oh, long wait. since uh, I've played this game, it just gave me $450,000. Why does my guy have a black the... eye? We're not on. Oh, you get a black eye as you play <laughs> adversary you mode. So we have to work as a team, Chicago. Yeah. All right, I'll land on the board first. You can use me as like a cushion to make sure <laughs> you get the points. <laughs> and when Pliers so, joins, he'll uh, be on the other block. team. What's something that you wish you knew oh, way Paragon. back when? Pair got in before Pliers. Yeah, apparently I had to press A to collect my money before it would load <laughs> me in. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Take your money. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Bearded's on the other team. Bearded and Fuzzy have the same mindset when they see my gamer tag in this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Gary, what's one thing you wish you knew? Um... I think one thing is um, sort of how how hard some some can be, and sort of how to sort of deal with those those situations. Yeah, you know, I mean, we all wish. I'm sure we all wish we all had hindsight. You know, before, you know, but sometimes I think you know things happen, and you know you look at it and you wish that maybe it had gone a different way. Okay, who's on the orange team that's just yep. sitting here and can't move? Vortex. Oh, Vortex, Come Jesus. On. Uh, You're coming. No, I got stuck too. Here we I don't go. Know. I'm just, uh, someone else can play my role after this. I can't play. Vortex, and play! Actually participate. Jesus. Lord. If you're gonna come, just. If you're gonna, if you're gonna crash right. this party. Come on, man. Greg. What is one I thing you wish you knew when you joined? Oh. <laughs> I can't move. <laughs> you on me. I can't move. No, I don't care about Drag that. Drag play, goddammit! Oh. <laughs> um... Oh, would, Impy's coming in hot. <laughs> it would definitely be, oh. I think... <laughs> no, don't, don't do it. Hit to... him, hit him. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Good job. Good. I'm sorry, I think it would probably be... Definitely meant, uh... What was that we talked about? Oh my gosh, what was that word? No, I forgot even. I'm all distracted and flustered. I would probably get out oh, and talk God. to more people outside of my division. And really kind of work. 
networking and talking to other people because I was really stuck in just hanging out with my members rather than networking outside it and probably even get into a uh, department like like Bearded said you know kind of get more no no I completely agree it's just funny that we literally what I am envious and wish I did is literally the opposite of what you are in like I was out there I joined departments I networked like a motherfucker and spent no time in my division and you do the exact opposite it just doesn't matter Whatever, whatever anyone does, it's wrong. There's no good way to do it. <laughs> Your game is full? How does that work? Because Para I don't know where I'm bouncing uh, after this. You can come play. That was you, huh, Bearded? I, what am I doing? <laughs> Who am I touching? I'll touch you. Don't make me, mate. There you go, Fuzzy. Right on cue. Oh, no, that <laughs> wasn't Bearded. That was Gary. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm not Hooters. What is one thing you wish you knew? Um, probably to um not be so judgmental with people, I guess, and presumptuous. Um, to actually get to know people first, you know. I think you know you hear a lot about certain people within KSI, and you hear you know there's always going to be rumors and gossip and stuff. And I guess just <clears throat> you know actually getting to know people yourself before making any kind of judgment and stuff. Yeah, yeah, did that. Uh, uh, MP? I don't know, I had my answer and then Vortex flustered me. Uh -huh. Um, what would it be? Oh, that there's other thing. okay, this is just, this isn't just a pitch for the departments. I'm not just, I mean, I stay on brand now. It's, it's, uh -huh. there's other things you can do in this community besides being clan ops. Clan ops is not the end all be all, and that's something Back when I first joined, it was so much more divided. Web ops and clan ops were so divided. Dep ops did not exist, and I'm going to continue to call it such dep ops. But it just, there was this divide, and clan ops was everything. And that's just not, that's not everything. That's not all this community is. We have web ops, we have departments. And I wish when I first joined, I didn't feel so pressured. Like, you know, to all do clan ops stuff. I mean, I love clan ops, but now that I see this different atmosphere, this different environment, and this different kind of reward, I mean, too many people in this community think that when their clan ops career is done in KSI, when they're no longer a seven, or when they're no longer an officer in a squad, that they just got to leave. They got to be gone. And you don't. No one's forcing you to go unless you get blacklisted or DNH'd. And so few people have that happen. So, understand that there's other... At the other outlets and other places where you can contribute and be a part of this community atmosphere uh, outside of clan ops. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's our perception. Like, I don't really, on my fire department, <clears throat> since my shoulder surgery and my right shoulder now acting up, I really don't plan on going in fires anymore. But I had to move up as an officer, and now I train other people to go play in the fires. Kind of who's out, and that's like the highlight. Hey, fuck off, man. <laughs> well, I'm slowly creeping down the hill. I'll look at the party. Uh... <laughs> oh, you're going real fast down the hill now. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's alright. It's alright. I'll stop. <laughs> Vortex joins our team. Up, yes. He uh, joins our team. He what? crashes his party, and he gets zero points every single run. And I'm laughing so hard. I'm just, I <laughs> yeah, love that kid. How is he doing it so wrong? Oh, Greg, go down there and knock them off a of five. Greg, go for five and try to sabotage. What? Yeah. <laughs> Greg, <laughs> yeah. Smash. Oh. Greg didn't steer, and he got stuck. Oh. No. <laughs> the planet's worse. All right, so players, what's something you wish you knew when you joined? Uh, don't wear white after Labor Day. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Is that with your pretty apron too? No, just kidding. Oh, definitely. Seems reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else more insightful? Oh, um... Uh... I 
This dude needs to quit talking to me in GTA. It's distracting Ooh. the hell out of me. I tried to sabotage him, but it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> the entire the entire stream saw it too. What? And that was close. Why did you two both die? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Also, um, something I didn't know, but I do now know, um, is it is looked down upon to get high in your apartment on GTA on the live stream during the award ceremony. <laughs> yes. That is, that is a valid thing. Also, do not dress in a bikini if you are not a female. That is hey. not acceptable. That is not whoa, it's 2017. I mean, you calm whoa, down I mean, there. You can yeah. dress however you want. Listen, I'm just saying the complaints have I mean, received. I dress in dress. I dress hey, I'm still rocking sometimes. the uh, the plaid yeah. uh, bikini bottom with the camo top. <laughs> and the gorgeous. gold digger uh, tramp stamp. <laughs> uh, Paratroop, what about you, Bub? Uh, not serious answer. I should have watched more fucking wrestling as a kid, so I wouldn't have to suffer as much during all the board meetings where I want to die. Um, oh my god. Oh my real god. answer? Um, <laughs> I, I wish I would have learned my rank better as a, uh, as coming up in the community. Because I went through the ranks so fast that I really didn't learn them, know. and uh, Chaos beat me up as a, basically as a child <laughs> until I Sorry, learned it. it. Uh, so, I mean, <laughs> realistically, if you learn all your, gen you're like, you know, your, how to be a, a good lieutenant, a good captain, yeah. and the general, the general rank just repeats. I mean, you, as a co-founder, you're doing the general rank times two, and so on and so forth, until a director is just a bigger general, and the same with like board, I mean, we're just bigger generals, so I mean, if, you're, if you know how to be a general, do anything in this community, and that's why yeah. I like, always say that's the hardest rank, if you can do it good, or well, if you do it Gucci, it done good. Uh, <laughs> you can, you can Everybody do anything. Watched you. MP, that Everybody was so gross. Watched. <laughs> MP, that was disgusting. That's a serious answer. I failed answer. miserably. Just, that was yeah, so gross. Now I agree. The low ranks are more important than anything else, so as long as you do those and you actually it's work at it. the basics. You were good to go. Alright, and I believe that leaves Veritas. I wish I hadn't uh, made everything like a challenge. I don't know. Um, I, I was kind of, I wasn't exactly the most professional person when I joined KSI. And eventually oh. got to a point where, uh, I, I don't know. I, I think. Realistically, I started moving up in my squad because I felt like I could probably do a better job than some of the leaders in my squad. But I, I, I've been thinking about it, and one comment that like made me that way and set me off was the fact that I was 16 and a lot of my officers thought that uh, uh, you couldn't be 16 <laughs> and, and do anything. Um, and so, yeah, I don't know. Like I was like vindictive, and like I think my first... like Basically, my whole ride to Jen was... was fueled purely by like spite and just wanting to <laughs> prove everyone wrong um, this community accomplishes a lot based on spite right <laughs> you know it was it was great but you know I mean, I'm obviously where I'm at now but uh wow. nice one Greg yes but, yeah, no, I'm sorry yeah. Greg I was so I was sorry that, that car's on fire <laughs> 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 oh, nice. Sorry. Oh, she's gonna Can't be back. That <laughs> car is on fire. So happy with you. Me and Fuzzy took each other out. Uh, Fuzzy, are we gonna get blown up? <laughs> too blown stuck. up. Oh, are you not on four? I figured you were on four. Who's on four? No, that. No, that's no, no, me and Fuzzy. Yeah. I'll be right Who's back. Who's on first? <laughs> me, me and Bearded, we can't get each other out. <laughs> me, me, Hooters, and Impy might all explode at the this same time. This is so dumb, though. Retake, we had one retake, extra take your time, person. Try and make your eight, one, two, we had nine. one extra person on him oh, oh, yeah, this yeah, round, yeah. and that's that's shameful. That is sad. That's not the case. Well, you know, I did get way. no points. Oh, yeah, oh, Vortex wow, comes in you here, still fire spot, and hurts us. Look at that. Three. Sorry, players. You should definitely kick Vortex Damn. After we're done. I think he left. <laughs> I think he left. No. Is he still here? Is he still, is he still here? <clears throat> Alright, the next question is uh, for those recruits that just joined, what advice would you give them if they'd like to make CEO one day? I suppose I'll head up that question. <laughs> uh, jack of all trades, master of none. You have to. Uh, Try to figure out and learn uh, basically everything you can about this community, and That's... never stop trying to well, better yourself. You know, Fuzzy, 
If we've learned anything from you, you can be a master of one, and I would think it's baiting. Baiting? Well, a little trolling every <laughs> once in a while never hurts. You have to make sure you enjoy yourself, kind of laugh at life, you know? Don't get down on the little things. Uh, yeah, and like Chicago and a lot of people said a bunch of different things on their things they learned throughout the time. It really is it. You need to get the full spectrum of this community. <laughs> was so that in Yeah, it was. It's all based, literally KSI, as cliche it is, it's all based on uh, the knowledge of the community, the knowledge of the department, the <laughs> websites, the strengths. <laughs> Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm so done with you. <laughs> I should mute my mic. Sorry, Fuzzy. <laughs> uh, that's it. Just have a good base and you can't give up. Can't let the little things take you down. Uh, if you're always here for a goal and the goal is has nothing to do with your own... Uh, if your goal is to become CEO from day one, then you probably should never be CEO. But if your goal is to help people out and work with people and make yourself better and make others better, then you have a good run. You have a good chance. And keep your word. If you say something, no. that's all you have on Xbox Live is your word. <laughs> and if you don't, because I'm not saying I've always kept my word, uh, own up. Sell people you fucked up. It's not a big deal. Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> yeah, fucked up sort of like you just did. <laughs> yeah. I have to look at the chat I've to see if anyone's it. appreciating I'm feeling kind of bushed in by the orange team right now, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, next question. Can you name a KSI mentor that has been a huge influence to you and the reason why you're here today? Or where you are? Where? How, why are you in this position today? I don't know, whatever. Who's a big mentor to you? I don't know. There's a bunch of people, but I'll just give a little quick one. Everyone else can throw in their own answers too. But uh, a guy named KSI Just Kill was a huge influence uh, in inspiring me in the early days. I, uh, I uh, like like nothing's really changed. My microphone back in the day was very bad, and I used a Halo 2 mic on the 360, and I used to send out a lot of inspirational messages and a lot of voice messages. <laughs> and uh, Just Kill was. Uh, a leader of the past hit me up and uh, asked me for my address. You know, it's like, why? Like, he used, he used to be a co-creator, which is equivalent to like COO, and uh, he used to be my rank on the board, chief performance officer. Uh, and I asked him why, because you know, I was like 16, 17. He's asking for my address. It's kind of weird. It's an older guy, and he just said that my messages reminded him of his earlier days in KSI and just trying to inspire people. And uh, I sounded like shit on the mic. So he bought me a Turtle Beach. And just the guy I never knew who listened to a few messages of mine just uh, went out and bought me a Turtle Beach because he thought that I was doing a good job in the community. Is that like, that was no, a sorry, good Chicago. amount. Sorry. If anyone else is anybody, they can bring feel free. Out the team. <laughs> Coming in hot. <laughs> um, my my biggest hot, mentor hot, and inspiration hot. probably, I mean he just recently rejoined, would be uh, Akame, actually. KSI broke in Akame 7 now. He was my old co-div when I first joined KSI. Really taught me just about everything I know about KSI, so I mean, have to give it up to him. Yo, this number 4 yeah, is popping right cookie. now. This is the, uh, this is the place to be right here. This is Bob and B. <laughs> Well, that was not very nice. <laughs> Anyone else? <laughs> Anyone feeling inspired? Felt inspired? Was inspired? I'm, I'd have to say mine would probably be a mix between uh, two former directors, both KSI Shivers Seven and KSI Nick Seven. Um, they really kind of. I came in un underneath them when ES was really thriving, and they taught me to be the leader I am today. Nice, yeah. No, I definitely, uh... I haven't heard Nick's name in a long time. Three Nick Nip. Three Nip Nick. <laughs> You're welcome, Rita. Three Nip I Nick. pushed you off that thing. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I remember. <laughs> Green seven Nick with his earrings. Oh my gosh, we oh, always yeah, make fun of our earrings. Uh, anyone else want to dive into that question? <clears throat> yeah, I can. Uh, for me... Oh. Go ahead, Gary. Go ahead. <laughs> no, you're, you're good. good. <laughs> No, no, you go. 
Okay. Well, mine's All right, two. So basically, <laughs> I knew you were gonna do that. Damn it! Just go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, what my one of my meds but... was um, when I when I first joined KSI. Uh, <laughs> um, we'll probably Whoa. have to. Be... That would probably have to be a KSI <laughs> Green 7. Um, when I joined, he was um, over LW, and then he helped me out with a lot of stuff, a lot of advice. Um, and yeah, he was, a, he was a good dude. And I miss him. Oh my god. Hold on, hold on. Greg, you realize that if you move your left stick back and forth, you hey, put on your hit me, car, hit right? Me. Yeah, I'm Chicago so reading, one of them. So Gary, hot. I'm Gary, just going <laughs> really slow. So I can, I can go too. <laughs> I figured they got yeah, hit me. Oh no, Every no, time no, you're Greg gonna, hits no. the board. <laughs> he oh, I didn't hit you hard enough. Car's flipping. I thought I hit, that would hit you faster. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. You gotta get it. Keep doing that. Oh, I'm waiting for a point. Yeah. You're moving. Greg, I'm trying. Um. All right. Good news is, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Gosh, and now he crashed. Um, mentor question. Mine's two different ones. Number one, um, is nice. cancer. Nice. Um, oh, team. I worked with cancer in DL quite a bit, and um, I don't know. He always just had it. He has a really like level head about things, and he's always making sure that he has all the details. Um, so he was a huge mentor for me. And then the second one would have to be ascend. Um, Ascend was never um, afraid to kind of just set me straight, you know, like if there was something that I was doing wrong, he was never shy to tell me, you know, what it was that I was doing wrong and how to fix it. Um, you know, he was very honest and straightforward with anything that came up. And I think that's huge, especially in, you know, a community that's consistently, um, like the pieces are consistently uh, moving and members are coming in, members are leaving, whatever it may be. There's uh, a lot of moving pieces. So Ascend was... Huge on just staying, you know, true to his word and being honest with you. So, those are my two. Yeah. Nice. My game's frozen. Yes, the game yeah, is frozen. Yeah, for us. Oh, yeah, my turn. Okay, huh. thank God. Good. Yeah, oh, power really, I land in the five. Um, mine, when I first joined, there was a, actually a lieutenant that was um, KSI equals. He either got blacklisted, unfortunately, but... You know, I probably wouldn't have been part of KSI because the guy that recruited me was a bit of a, a younger, younger person that was very annoying. Um, oh my God. But really, it was him that kind of got me joining and got me active in, in game nights and stuff and playing with KSI. I mean, really, and they kept it going for me. And obviously, <laughs> I think, you know, chaos would be the other one. What the hell happened to there the rest of our team? No, the game froze. I backed out so we could start it over again. And if someone wants to create oh. a new private lobby and just invite everyone, well, that'd as be soon great. as you backed out, uh, sorry oh, it to fixed work. it. Oh, see, yeah. it was my fault. Shit. Oh, yeah, well, sir. you know what then? Yeah. If anyone's watching the stream, feel free because this is about to happen. I don't know what that means. It's like you started you're free to watch. and didn't finish it. <laughs> yeah. right. you gonna... Anybody watching the stream, feel free. Just, yeah. you know, because you're in America and you're is free. Anybody, is but... anybody here watching? <laughs> nope. What the heck? Uh, we can invite you back if you want. Uh, yeah, that, that would work. I don't know if uh, I'm still in the queue or what. But my problem is, I'm back Could in my apartment just taking bomb hits. Or something. <laughs> Oh, uh, I Mr. got a fuzzy. I've got it a really complaint. Compromises the next game. Yes. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Inappropriate for the streamer to be hitting the bong on stream. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> I think we've already went. How over dare this. you lead dare you by my example, by Impy? <laughs> fuck off, Gary. <laughs> 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 Everybody Wait, pick a new CEO. You. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous <laughs> thing to watch. <laughs>
Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to go wow. for five, but I had to go for an easy one. Alright, anyone else want to bring up a medal? Go get him, Rita. Go get him, Rita. <laughs> Last chance? Yeah, I've got one. Uh, yeah. Dive yeah. in. <laughs> KSI Cuba, uh, Cuba Max Bomb, slash KSI uh, Cuba 7. I don't bring her up a lot. I think I've brought her up only one other time on stream. Uh, but she was the first, again, going into that, you know, mentality of you're 16, you're, you ain't going to be nothing, youngin'. Um, she was the first leader to kind of give me a chance uh, and actually, you know, let me, you know, try and make a name for myself here. And uh, I, if she hadn't done that, I don't think, uh, you know, if it had been any other gen or, you know, maybe not. But I, I, I think that I wouldn't be where I am. Um, so she really... Uh, helped me out a lot, and I'm thankful for her. Awesome, awesome person, awesome mentor. Nice. <laughs> I saw that funny. Ah, I fucking tried, man. And I was backfired. No, leave me alone. <laughs> no, nope. I'm good. <laughs> I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna <laughs> make no. it. No. <laughs> we met Anybody who, who's on my team right now? Greg and Fuzzy. Um, I, was Greg still, goes, I Greg still wouldn't deny it. Fuzzy, I'm right back. behind the number one. So, uh, anyone else? If not, we'll go on to the next question. If somebody wants to be a not racist. No! Oh. There it is. What a hero. <laughs> no! What a uh, hero. Yeah. Fuzzy, help me. Oh, I need to invite you in game. I don't know how to do that from here. Oh, like, physically well being in the game. Yeah, like that. Yeah, like that. Oh, that'll just work? No, then why are we doing the cell phone shtick earlier? I don't know. That was so fun. I don't know. I don't know. Buzzy goes to the His car's swerving immediately to the right. <laughs> like, oh shit. <laughs> Out of uh, knowledge, strength, and integrity. Uh, hey, this one we don't know off the answer, just whomever wants to. Um, which do you exemplify the most in. Your KSI career. I don't know. My laptop shut down, but it's it's basically that question. Uh, I I would say uh, I would say definitely um, integrity yeah. is probably the one that you know, I would exemplify or, or the one that I would put the most importance on. I guess um, you know knowledge can be taught obviously you know as long as you're willing to put in whatever time it takes uh, knowledge can be taught and you know strength strength you you earn through perseverance and just dealing with things but I think integrity is the only one of those that you can't really gain you know you either have a moral compass or you don't and I think that's probably you know I, I, that's probably the most important of the three, and I don't want to say one's more important than the other, but yeah, that's the one I would put most emphasis on. Uh, you know, you, you either come into this community with the right intentions or you don't. Um, and, and I think that's that's a lot of people's defining trait is either they have that integrity and they make it here or they don't, and they don't make it here. So I, I would put the most emphasis on that. You can be taught anything and you get strength through perseverance, but integrity is something you had to come here <laughs> with, you know? See, I don't know if integrity is something. I mean, that's kind of all depends on your mentality. I don't think I, I ever, my integrity was ever poor <laughs> when I first joined this community, but I was much more of the gun ho gain rank fast because rank equals power. And uh, my mentality changed a lot when I became a director and started really trying to do myself. But uh, I think I was a little more. I mean, it was, uh, I might have been 16 too, but I was a person. Uh, but I, I really think it's tough. You really need, like, Three. I mean, I don't know what's the most important. Uh, integrity, probably for the long run. Uh, but you really, you need the knowledge. I mean, you can be the mm -hmm. most honest person, and you can never, never defy anybody, never give anybody, never say something, and not follow through with it. Um, but if you don't have the knowledge base behind it, I don't know. If you can ever ascend the ranks, you might. So it's different because integrity is going to keep you at a leadership position. Knowledge is going to uh, progress you through a leadership position, and strength is going to keep you in the community. So I feel like I'm cheesy because I, I can't really say which is the most important, but I'd rather have someone honest than uh, someone intelligent. 
I don't know. That's tough. Anyone else want to get into this? Oh, there's never restarting this game. Please try again. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, anyone else want to dive right into this question? Because I mean, I would uh, tend to agree with uh, Fuzzy on this one. I mean, a good balance between the three, I think, is important. Because, I mean, each one is important in their own aspect. So you want to uh, be able to find the middle ground between all three of them. Oh. So the servers are screwing up. That's cool. Um... So it just loaded me in plummeting to my death. We called okay. this. Did we not call this the other day or yesterday? Didn't I say that tonight the we servers did. would go down? Yep. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Alright, Rocket That's League. what I was just thinking. <laughs> Fortnite it is. <laughs> yeah, too you soon, know what? I know. All I'm gonna wow. do here. It threw me out of I the still game. haven't bought that game. I'm going to I steal a car, and after I steal a car, I will commit no more crimes. I will follow all traffic laws and procedures, and that's about the gist of it. Lies. Lies. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, oh, so which of the which KSI? Well. I would say integrity, because integrity is I, and I'm all about some me. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the party died. Either that, or my response, or my answer was just that bad. <laughs> it was that bad. No, it was that bad. I'm, I'm sure still trying to process. <laughs> I think I'm just dropping in out of consciousness. <laughs> I was probably a little distracted. What was the question again, please? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go to Services. Knowledge, strength, or integrity? Which one, which one which do you think you important? exemplify the most? <laughs> yeah. Intelligence. Oh. Yes. <laughs> I'm going mean... to your game. Sorry, oh. how are the answers going? I don't know the bathroom. Oh, well, my answer was the best. I think... I, it's uh, my answer opinion, was like... <laughs> yeah, no, I... <laughs> I most exemplify integrity because integrity is I and I'm all about some me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, there's a twist on the answer, but... <laughs> he said it with conviction, so that's all that matters. That's tough, yeah, I think integrity probably, uh, not for that reason, but definitely probably pushes through as the most important for overall community. Uh, the other two play just as, just as a strong part, I think, longevity. Does somebody need to go look at the uh, questions since your uh, laptop died, or is that something different? Oh, no. <gasps> Speed up. This is bad. This night on the server side has been a disaster. So the party's dead. No one else is in here. No one's connecting, or everyone's connecting. I don't know. Hello? Hmm. Well, we're gonna have to fix these technical difficulties. So, what's going on, chat? 
Nebula, what would you tell the new officers to KSI? Oh, hey, hey we can hear people be? again. Yes, it is. I was just having a chat with the. I was just having a chat with the. Uh, with the with the, with the I chat. I think it's a ruse again. Oh my God! Stop joining. Well, it's joinable. No, Greg. I said boot people, not just quit. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, good thing this is now KSI and not people, KS. So just start a new lobby. Oh, I can I can boot you. I can boot people. Who am I booting? Oh no, Impy can hear us. We just can't hear Impy. What? Hey. I hear Gary. I hear Scott. Right. Sorry. I hear Greg. I saw your message just as I left. So now it's Impy's party. I don't know if it's gonna. Um. I'm still talking. This is a mess. I booted Hooters. We are we are being ruthless. There we go. We good? <laughs> I'm listening to the stream and I'm like, motherfucker, I'm coming through shit-talking Greg's plan. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Could hear everything you're saying. Just reconnect y'all's audio now that I join back yeah. in. Uh, I forgot since the update, I can have the party open and have the stream go just the same. So it's, it's not a right. big deal other than all of these issues with these GTA <laughs> servers. Um, Rockstar can suck a big old bag of butts. <laughs> Bag of butts. Bagel bites. Okay, uh, right, so for softball then. There's a question regarding the NFL season. I don't. Oh. Care. Oh. I think we're. I think the party lagged again. Yep. Show enough. Through attrition, I have become in charge. Yeah, we need to close this party before. again. Same as before. Yeah, and... I'm all, all right. I don't know. Close. It wasn't closed before. It was reckless. It, it was closed. Uh, it was, but Greg opened no, it, it was before open. he Oh, left. so you can come back. Then. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, NFL, blah, blah, blah. You guys cheering. I don't know. I don't care about... I don't know. I, isn't that another Chicago question? I mean, Chicago's yeah. got like four questions in here. I think we can move on to somebody else's and make them well, feel Well, I'm just wanted. going down the list. Yeah, well, I think we should bypass Chicago as many people should. I think oh, there might I... be... I think there's about to be a, a question in the uh, chat, if I find it. <laughs> Thank you, MP. I feel so well. supported. <laughs> well, we, I would like to hear a Chicago's question. We already asked. No, no, no my he, point was, yeah, we, right, we, we, I was connecting. We have, yeah, like the last three have questions have three of questions. We have, Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> no, I mean only one NFL. person yeah. puts more than half the questions. Uh, that's what occurs. We only have three more questions post this, so with the NFL season coming up, do you guys have a team you'll be cheering for? Steelers. I'll be cheering England. for the Bruins. <laughs> the Bruins. Oh, <laughs> what an answer. <laughs> I, I have to tell you, those are all very fine teams. <laughs> However, there is only one team that's America's team, and that's the Cowboys. Ah, <laughs> yes. You mean the Patriots? <laughs> yes, or... women beaters where I'm international. Going to be. It's wonderful. That's what I'm cheering for. It's America's like team. That's not good for the franchise. I, I'm going to no. be cheering for England. Are you sure they're not a basketball team? That seems to apply to some of those more. Uh, well, I mean, I'm just saying. Zeke got to spend six games. They had signed Greg Hardy. It's just a, it's just a crazy, crazy team, man. <laughs> but they got talent. Don't worry. He did. <laughs> but that he talent. Did. He apologized. It'll never happen what? again. No, he didn't Matt apologize. Christoph? He claimed that the woman made everything about it up, and they're just making a smear campaign against her, which she might have. I don't know. Uh, they I could be just, right. I was just being an abuse victim. Sorry. Don't, what don't about... yell at the abuse victim. <laughs> that would be... Oh, my goodness. Fortnite, what about you know? Ryan? Last question about looking for integrity. That's what I would be. Focus my searches for people that have integrity. All right. 
we were connecting when I was answering. So. I don't know. I, I wonder. I wonder what the. I wonder which team has the least amount of arrests and jail time on that team. I feel like that's the, that should be America's team. That should be the team. See, that should all that's answering the questions. Aspire to be. It's a bunch well, of people not. haven't gotten caught. Like it's I'm not just, the Raiders. Like, no, and that's the <laughs> thing. It's definitely it's not the Patriots. It is so they definitely had some trouble. It's probably like the Titans. I, mean, I think we can all admit it's probably the Titans. Or the Packers. <laughs> we are. Uh, be fair, yes, the Titans. I agree. Definitely the Patriots have had their share. I mean, having a guy <laughs> murder someone. <laughs> Allegedly. Then, well, he murdered somebody. Oh, no. He murdered two he people, went, and then he killed he himself. Yes. So technically, that's a threefer. He yes. killed three people. Well, but they didn't. They didn't say he was guilty, so his wife. Right, no, allegedly. Right, right, allegedly. <laughs> no, a, well, like what a long was it? Con. What was it? Apparently, because he technically was in the middle of an appeal of that conviction, I guess the NFL has a rule that, you know, if you, like he could have, if he was going to serve life in prison and was found guilty, he would not be uh, eligible for, yeah. like, the retirement benefits. But since he was in the middle of the appeal at the time that he killed himself, his family is now eligible to the NFL retirement, which is which a really is good ironic, chunk of money. Which is ironic, because suicide such a selfish act, and yet this is the most selfless suicide since uh, the ending of some big movie or whatever. Yeah, he killed himself <laughs> at the opportune time to allow his family to have his retirement checks for the rest of their lives. If he stayed alive and was found guilty, they would get nothing from it. I mean, suicide's never good. No. There is no opportune time for it, MP. Well, I mean, out of all times in his life, that would be the most beneficial time. Just statistically speaking. I know he's been hanging in prison. I'm sure they have pickup games of football in there. Yeah, it gets better. <laughs> Haven't you Reach seen out. the longest yard? I know. You get to play with the great Kali <laughs> and Stone Cold. And <laughs> hey, we're back to yeah. wrestling. <laughs> yes! To answer, your question, <laughs> to answer your question, it's the Houston Texans that have the least amount of arrests. Oh, I was close. I guess the Titans and the Packers, so Earth. the Texans are right there. So the Texans should be America's team. The Texans team. are also one of the newest teams. I mean, not well, newest, no, but they're, they're, they're also one of the newest. Like, oh, I, think, I think his research was... Pro I'm Bearded. assuming the research they're was based on garbage. current teams. <laughs> right, yeah, they're terrible. Uh-oh, <laughs> uh-oh. Yeah. Uh -oh, uh -oh, they have I just drank no too much good wine. players. I drank too much <laughs> wine. My guy collapsed. I think I'm in the hospital. <laughs> no, you'll wake up randomly in a field. Hopkins. Oh, okay. It, it happened to me once. Are we talking real life right, or so. GTA? <laughs> oh, I'm still standing. Actually, I was a conveniently, cat. it happened. Both happened in the same night. <laughs> okay, so. All right, so we go to the next question. This is KSI Scars X Scars X. If the gamer tag you currently have was taken. What would you pick as a new gamer tag? Any significance behind it? Question mark. Example, nickname, favorite character, etc. Um, they have two parts. Uh, I'll answer that, and I just wouldn't have joined Xbox Live if someone else had used my name from 2001, Fuzzy Meep. I just said this place isn't for me. Go into PlayStation. I play SOCOM and PS2. I have a belief with this that if I did not, if I was not able to be Impy, which is fine. Um. I've been trying to the convince Imperium. everyone on the board. I've been trying to convince everyone on the board to add Meep to the end of their name. So it's like Lucy <laughs> Meep, Raggy Meep, Impy Meep. Yeah, I think I would become KSI Impy Meep 7 and then just wreak havoc on everything and make people think I'm like Fuzzy's like long lost brother. And be like, Fuzzy told me to hit your community. Fuzzy told me to, you know, come menace you. <laughs> and <laughs> just become like Did an I evil alter e? ego. <laughs> Ironically, my brother's Fuzzy Panda. Here. My other brother's Fuzz Meep too, so it would fit. I think with my game tag, um, if if Gary wasn't available, I'd probably pick either Barry or Larry, <laughs> or maybe Harry. Barry. What about, about Mo? What about Sherry? I mean, Terry. 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 <laughs> that's, that's, that's a unit like like yeah, right. Yes, I'm not feeling that. Stacy. Barry. <laughs> this is so tasty. Yeah, Barry, Larry, Spooky Ghost, Malari. No, I, yeah. but it wouldn't be Barry like B A R R Y. It'd be Barry like B E R R I. What? Or B E R R Y. Barry. 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 <laughs> Barry. Um, Barry. Just, I, just, I just sort of going off topic. It's Adidas, not Adidas. 
<laughs> it's Adidas. Or whatever you strange people say. All day, not, you know, Adidas. Soccer. It's not Adidas. Just, oh my god. Um, can we just anybody... all take a step to appreciate how committed Gary is to the airy uh, <laughs> sounding names? Like, the Aryan? Yeah, the Aryan. Oh my. But no, it's what? like the what? I figured you would say uh, Garietta. I figured you were gonna pick your female alter ego. No, because I I'd still think Garietta is be, better. I'd have to be Barrietta or Larietta if I changed it from Gary to Barry, Larry, or Harry. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's so many rhymes in this fucking state. Because I can, yeah, I can't even, I, I can't be, even keep up, dude. I can be I a would, like Barry Seven and then be Garyessa, I would have to be Barryessa. Barry now, Manila. my personal belief <laughs> is true. that if you become KSI Larry7, you need to find a Mo and a Curly. <laughs> uh, I, I, uh, I'm, yep. I have a random question, but does anybody, uh, anybody get any new G Gucci shoes as a Oh my god. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Really wow. Coast, and by the way, please let's go down before, this route. Please before we go. even go down this route and we just all crap on Heratos and soul break him, let's just point out that Chicago was banned from answering this question because every gamer tag that he's ever had run through his head, he has changed his name to. He has no more. Right. <laughs> That's why I said, hey, I'm not answering this. I, I've probably already had my dream gamer tag. Every single one or of them. Or be F period meep. That sounds sophisticated. <laughs> so Gucci. <sighs> Gucci. <laughs> Flower power. <laughs> okay, you gotta, you gotta talk about this. Right, right, don't give him the power. Him, dude. <laughs> Look, my, grand, my grandma's sofa. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> we got a bunch of haters in this party. Haters of style. <laughs> this is my is grandmother's couch. That's not got a, got a got a bunch of uh, fashion haters. Okay. Whoa. Fashion you know, fascist. You know, now I don't Fa know, man. Exactly. Maybe this is the point that I'm realizing that I'm just getting older. But I just feel like there's a lot of better things you could buy with that much money than uh, stupid shoes. You don't gonna call them <laughs> stupid so with, really? oh, <laughs> with flowers wow. on. Don't don't forget to mention there's flowers on them. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> I mean, I think we all know that when he got him, the first thing he did was bedazzled his name into the into like the outside. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with a bedazzler. <laughs> oh. Well, between between the Gucci shoes I was looking at, there were the ones I bought, and then there were also an all black pair. That uh, had. Uh, they you had, mean you uh, could have gotten them without stones. flowers? And you didn't? <laughs> well, they were all black hair. <laughs> were, were they uh, sold out of the pink ones? Are they objective um, buying flowers? I, I don't. It's yeah, exactly. People. Right, exactly. <laughs> Men can wear flowers in this today's society. Okay? Not that there's anything the wrong with that. Our mistake. <laughs> yeah, MD. Mr. Progressive over here. Can you stop? Can you stop being a bigot, please, sir? I'm like, right. what? Whoa, okay, now one. all I said was that you bedazzled. Everyone else is giving you crap for flowers and other things. Listen, there's nothing wrong with the flowers. It just looks like my grandma's couch, that's all. <laughs> Alright, well, your grandma has a very good taste in Your couches grandma's couch because... looks like a shoe. How <laughs> How does she sit right. on it? <laughs> He's a joke on like you. Very trap. <laughs> she sits in it. All right. Uh, to not stray too far away, we only have a couple oh, questions shit. left. Yeah. Uh. What? Why did you join whatever departments you have joined? And how's your experience been in them or in them when you were in there so far? Funny moments, good memories, etc. I'll, uh, I'll go over yeah, quite a this, few departments. This, I've been this in one time at Bank Camp. <laughs> I helped uh, establish with a couple of the people the AAP system. And then the same with like the, the grandfather to lead, FTLA. And then obviously like FTLA, the education department. It was really cool, really interesting. Bring up like a new way to do classes and teaching people. I really enjoyed that. Uh, but really when we first did the of the years, which wasn't a thing. We used to do 
uh, member of the month before that, just one member, and the directors chose it. And the directors are usually too lazy, so I ended up choosing it uh, during my tenure. And then really kind of balled into... We still did one member of the month. They and the AAP slowly started doing a senior leader, uh, member, form staff, and one other one of the year. And now we have like 13 different categories for it. But uh, that was probably like the coolest thing, doing it. Cause that definitely, when we first started doing it, people just thought it was ridiculous. They scoffed at the idea. And our members don't need praise for doing it. It's just their job and blah, blah, blah. And uh, now it's now it's an absolute staple of this community. So uh, that was definitely uh, very cool establishing that and just watching where of the years have gone and member of the month and stuff like that has started from just one member chosen by directors to I mean, hundreds of people every year collectively getting these awards chosen by the people. That's probably my, my situation. Uh, in productions was fun because we used to make videos making fun of other KSI members subtly, but, you know, that wasn't really proactive. Um, Anyone else? Huh? End statement. Well, for me... <laughs> for, I mean, shoot, man. I've been in a lot of departments. Um, I used to be an AAP as a co-head. Uh, I did help out in T&E for a little bit back when Pred was running it. Didn't do much. Um, news, obviously. I don't know. News is really the one I'm known for. Uh, so, when I was not in the community for a period, for about two, three months, um, Saro... Uh, one of our board members, uh, I forget what his title is now, but whatever. Um, Chief Administrative Officer. Chief Administrative Officer. He approached me, and he knew that I did journalism stuff, and I'd always tinker with the idea of doing news, but I always kind of balked at it. Um, but they were implementing this new news site on WordPress, and I actually knew how to use WordPress. I've... I used to have a blog and stuff, and he just says, uh, hey, MP, uh, we haven't talked in like three months, but uh, I need someone who knows how to run the site to help out on this team, so don't be a bitch, just come do it. And that's all <laughs> I needed. And so, you know, I could take I could take a hint. So I came back for that, and it was wonderful. I mean, I always tell people for news, it's the best, to me, it's the best department to be in to, I mean, obviously they improve as a writer, but I mean, to really get involved in the community and get to hear the stories of the members. I really think every news team writer should really make a point to interview as many KSI members as they can for their stories and to try to get the stories behind our member base. I think the more you talk to people in this community, the more you understand why they're here, what they get out of this community, what they want to see improve, what they want to see happen. And where and just what they've gained from this community, I think it gives you a better understanding. And I love that part. I mean, it was a department that was really hard for me to give up. It took me a long time to promote True up to co-head. I had some issues in the past with other co-heads and with trying to move things forward. And probably some of that was due to me being a little overbearing and not wanting to give that department up. But, you know, gave it up to her and I think she's running with it and doing a great job. Bearded's been co-head and he's been doing a good job. Mr. Bearded working on a story right now about something I don't know. Yeah, I'm doing a Sea of Thieves review. <laughs> oh, yes. Game reviews that people always love. They love game reviews. I don't know why, man. That's like my I favorite thing to write, too. I love them. But, you know, yeah, it just gets you this insight into the community that other things don't. And I think the team right now is doing a great job. And, yeah, I just... I loved being part of that team for every second that I was. And I really have no complaints. And if you have an interest in writing and getting involved in this community, you need to go put in an application. We have news and history under that umbrella right now. Yeah, I think I joined the news team because MP threatened me if I didn't, so uh, we'll go with that. That sounds right. <laughs> that sounds how most of my news team members that came in under me uh, came in. Or here, go ahead. Speaking, out. speaking of news, isn't, aren't they still running their competition? Yes, I know. Yes, the same thing. Right. It, right. it, it would be worth repeating now, 74 minutes in, if Bearded wants to take it. Yeah, no, it's a, well, it's it. a poetry rap right. song lyric about KSI or KSI related. We can uh, 
think it's what the top three get cash prizes. So if you uh, if you're up for writing, go in there, submit something. Never know. What's your guys' stance on haikus? Hey, that's well, a poem, dude. I. Well, you oh, know I'm my sorry, I'm talking to the co -head. Yeah, you know my <laughs> stance on haikus. <laughs> I love haikus. <laughs> Lovely. Don't I have a collected Just, works now? I think I have a collected works in the uh, poetry section now of, of my haikus. That should be published. That should be a story. <laughs> I agree. That's just an easy story when someone's burnt out that week. It's like, oh shit, MP wrote a bunch of haikus. <laughs> that could be the time capsule for next week. Someone tell Trump. Oh, absolutely. Oh, wow. Just copy and paste my haikus. Yeah, I'll get, her, I'll get her on the horn. Oh, we actually have a funny story. I, I forgot I was in Friday Night Fights, which was uh, TNE's predecessor. And I used to run the Halo tournaments every week. Uh, with Queen Jess for a long time, and Rebellion, and like Rags ran Call of Duty, and we flip flopped a little bit, but I always ran Halo every week, and uh, back then we didn't stream anything, all that high-tech gadgets, but we did record um, the final match every game, and do like a commentary on it, and it was usually me and Jess, and we usually, we got very good working uh, relationship together and like we could play off each other and in one of them we did maybe like four or five in I decided to stop feeding her any lines or doing anything or playing off her at all and I completely just stonewalled her and it was hilarious I don't know I feel like it's still somewhere up on YouTube probably on a dead YouTube uh, KSI global production site but uh, yeah everything she would say you know, hey Fuzzy, come take a look at this. What's going on on this side of the map? Blah blah. blah. And I just went, nope. And I would just go on my own thing and I just completely stole water the entire time. And she was so upset. And at the end, I remember her saying something like, she was so flustered. She's like, well, I guess they won. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And then just dropped the f bomb because she was so embarrassed. She said that line. And it was just, it was just a blast. After she's like, "What'd you do?" And I was like, "I'm, so, I was just bored. I just hate doing these every week." I was like, "I'm sorry. I just needed to spice it up for myself. So I just trolled you the whole time." Uh, anyone else? Fun department stories. Reasons you joined? I joined a department to help T and E out, and about three months later, I made co-head of it. <laughs> soul has been sucked we're kind of quasi running yeah I, uh, it production just turned well. into me well no I joined productions literally because it was so hard to find a streamer for weekend warfare week in and week out I think the final straw was we did a karaoke and could not find a streamer um, so I ended up buying a cap card the next day and joined productions and the rest is kind of, yeah. When Havoc left, uh, I kind of said, you know, I'd, I'd much rather run t and &E. I only joined productions to, to help out and the rest is history. Well, the rest yeah. is not history, actually. That was uh, t and &E. History is a different department, but we understand what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hopefully right, none well, of you guys are in Texas right now, because that hurricane just hit. No, no, I'm not in Texas. I'm are not planning on going Texas? today, either. The way you said it was like, I could hear it in the background. He's like, well, it just hit, <laughs> but, you know. Whatever, they said go in the basement, but I am dedicated. I read something <laughs> earlier where the mayor's saying if you haven't evacuated, just write your social security number on your arm. <laughs> wow, that's bold. I already do that, is that weird? A little bit, yes. For you, MP, not really, right. though. <laughs> <sighs> I ain't never want to forget it. Oh yeah. No, uh... Just, just like I have my underwear uh, labeled for the day that I'm gonna wear it. Got my trusty Wednesdays <laughs> on. 
I was just gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> Literally about to make, is that why it says Wednesday? <laughs> Great. Why are you looking at his underwear? You know what, I don't care. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that, there you 2017. go. 2017. <laughs> uh, All right, yeah, nice. uh... Yes. Well, I joined AP because... Uh... Well, it was mainly because I wanted to join a department, but it was also because I was an officer and wanted to get my post count up. <laughs> and our whole rules was like you had to do your roll call and then your officers check in, and then three, no, it was five other posts that week to be considered like an officer, you know, to be an active officer. So I was like, oh, well. I, I know I'm gonna forget, so I need to join something that's heavy on forums. And I joined AAP, and I absolutely loved it, and uh, stuck with it. And then I joined TNE because at first I had like weird like doubts about TNE. I was like, oh well, I gotta have good connection for that. And uh, Pliers is like, no, not really, man. Quit being stupid. And I was, he didn't say that, but he, he you know, he was like, don't do that. You have. can join. <laughs> and so uh, yeah, I ended up uh, joining Teeny and really enjoying it. Still really enjoying it, obviously. And uh, I made co-ed of Teeny, so I guess that was a a good thing, you know. But yeah, fun, fun. Departments are fun. In peace. So Daddy took the T-bird away. <laughs> All right, we have a, a non-KSI specific question uh, from KSI Demonic Widow. And it goes quiet. It's a great question. I agree. I'm right. I'm laying down. Yeah. I'm cut. I am cut to it. Freshman <laughs> college, um, and there's so much to do, and like no time. My time management skills are obviously uh, terrible. Please give me any and all advice, and I'd appreciate it. And P.S. I hope this is posted on YouTube because I won't be able to watch it live because of work. Uh, I guess we can all add different things, but I would just say prioritize. Sticky if you need to work in order to fund yourself through college, then absolutely work. But prioritize. Education comes first. And I, I am a big believer of like a dollar's worth of happiness a day. And if school costs 50 cents of happiness and work costs 50 cents, then do not overspend. Do not go out partying that night or the night before because you're just robbing yourself the next day. Just uh, prioritize everything and definitely work and school come way before Xbox or KSI. And it's not easy. But... If you don't eat your meat, you can't have any pudding. This is factual. How could you have any pudding if you don't eat your meat? Jesus. Yeah, I know when I was going to medic school, I had to like bracket up my days. I like these. Are, this is when I work, and I used to work like a 34-hour shift in a row, and then another 10 or a 24, so I can get two and a half days. And then these are the days I study. And you know, this is when I go to school. This is when I do my clinical shifts. And this is when I booze it up. And I made a mistake, and school turned me into an alcoholic. Don't go that route. And I mean, I still got through school, but it definitely made it a lot more bumpier along the way. Goddamn college kids. Anyone else want to help out Demonic Widow? I just have my mind. Very good. Alright, well, three. Yeah, not everyone at once. Started. Someone yeah, three of us started <laughs> talking, and then all of us stopped talking. I, I would just say, like, like you said, prioritize. I mean, it's there. Are, obviously, school is for fools, but the great Alice Cooper <laughs> said that. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah, smoking in the boys' room. Yes. Oh, in obviously, your school your future you have to keep that first make sure that you're always prioritizing that set aside time for for you obviously set aside time 
for when you have to study. But obviously, you know, prioritize and making sure, again, like I said, setting aside your self own time. You're not overspending like Fuzzy was saying. Sorry, that was very disjointed. No, it was good. Speaking of overspending, doing these things costs like a dollar's worth of happiness alone. Ridiculous. <laughs> Anyone else? The other two people that were speaking. <clears throat> yeah, um, I, I try. I tend to find writing everything down helps. Um, if you got it written down and you know where it is, you're not gonna forget it. Um, in the past, I've had you know I've, I've had to you know do an assignment or whatever, and then um, I've forgotten that I need to do that assignment. And when it comes to the day, it's like, oh, I know, I want to do that assignment. And I completely forgot about it, so I just tended to start writing everything down. I'd have I'd have post-it notes all over my office space, just with loads of random stuff on that only I could understand. You know, there might just be one post-it note that just says cash, but I'll know what that means. Strip club. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh. That's yeah, that's good. Place. Always keep a list. That's, that's not bad either. Not uh, that's bad basically what I was going to say is maybe like a day planner or uh, you know something along those lines. Something to keep track of all your responsibilities and stuff so you, you don't get overwhelmed. Keep it all organized like. I'll make sure to reread it and actually go over it. I literally always have a notebook around me. I have two or three going at all points. I write down ideas. I write down even like quotes. I write down things I like. Right, yeah. I write down I'll, things I'll I need to do. Stuff. And then I never yeah. go back and read them. <laughs> it's basically useless. I just have pads of paper everywhere with stuff written down that six months later I read and I'm like, well, I forgot to do that. And this makes no sense. <laughs> I don't know what the hell's going on here. <laughs> Not to always be suggesting books, but there's a book by <laughs> are good. David Allen. It's called, you know, The Art of Getting Things Done. And he lists that, you know, that exact tip of his writing things down, but not just writing them down of saying, yeah, that's going to, we got to do this, this, and this on a list for him. Put an actual date. That way you don't have to get overstressed about doing things. You don't have to sit there and, and actually. You know, you can always say it when you're on Monday and something's coming up on Friday, you can say, oh, yeah, that's coming up, but not today. I don't have to worry about that today. I don't have to overstress about that. That's here. I have to, I have that down the road, but I don't have to stress about it. That's that's yeah, that the hardest point the about it. Removes the anxiety. Right. That's the hardest part of time management sometimes is you get kind of overwhelmed with all the stuff going on and if you can set it aside for a day or set focus on the time. <laughs> it's a good it's my book. favorite days. The irony. And I'm like, ah, oh, I have 20 things to do today. I'm going to do nothing then. The irony is she's going to have 20 things to do and she's going to be reading the book instead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Sorry, it's on at least YouTube. You're paying you can your listen future. to it, which I would suggest to it, but audible. <laughs> That's why I would argue that books Jesus. are evil. Oh, bless you. That way you can work on or listen and that sounded violent. I will say, <laughs> yeah. and you know, I am enjoying this. Uh, we're an hour and a half in. This is where things start to kind of get away. I think we got one more question in the thread, so let's move on to that if yeah. we can. We're... Well, we're doing a lot better than three questions ago. <laughs> And I think this last uh, question opinions should, on... be, should be fun. Opinions on, I assume, Call of Duty World War II. Unless you're just talking about World War II in general, which we can also discuss that. <laughs> but Call of Duty World War II <laughs> and uh, Destiny 2. I will and comment any on upcoming games. World War II. Thanks. Um, I would say the Nazis were in the wrong. I think Japan should not have attacked America. That was a big mess up. We got involved, obviously. And otherwise, I don't know if you have Twitch, but there have been people that have been playing, I guess, the beta. I don't know what they're playing. You know, people get advanced access to stuff. And it has been amazing to watch it. It feels like Call of Duty's back from what I've seen. I'm really actually excited to get that game and try it. Um, 
it looked a lot more like boots on the ground st type stuff you saw like pre uh really with the modern warfare series and then world at war really those those four games kind of is what this reminds me of i don't know if anyone else in here has had a chance to watch any of the gameplay trailers or watch anything on twitch of people playing it but it really does seem like it's kind of getting back to the roots of what call of duty used to be and the back to call of duty 4 or... yeah I mean, it just seemed real seamless it seemed decent um I was watching Nade Shot uh, yesterday, and you know he was referring to it. Feels like like the servers are good. It feels like the connection is good. It feels like it's a smooth gameplay. Um, and of course, you know you watch it, and everything is based upon boots on the ground. It's all based upon you running around shooting somebody, not just like trying to like just hide in a corner and get your kill streaks and then do nothing the rest of the game. Um, and just trying to ruin everyone's day that way. So I, I've liked what I've seen from World War II so far, and I think I'm definitely going to get it. It's the first Call of Duty game I've actually been excited to get since, like, Black Ops 2. Oh. I believe it when I see it. They've been botching releases for the last uh, literally half decade, so I'd hate to keep funding them in their shenanigans. It's great. They introduced War. Uh, they're going to have war on this where they're cheating from Battlefield 1 doing operations. They literally took operations and scaled it down a little bit so you don't play three hour long games. Um, but the map the map expands as you try to complete objectives and expand to move through the map. And then after you are on offense and the other team's on defense, however long it takes you to complete the objectives, the other team then gets their chance on offense and they have to beat your time. There's like four phases. And it's like a race to get That's to the cool. finish line by completing the objectives. I, like, I it's feel like, like Call of Duty does best when they just are being themselves. It sounds like they're copying from Battlefield, which is a great series, and I hope they do well. Oh, they are. Uh, but uh, they also copied from Titanfall and Halo before, and that didn't work out for them, so... They are, and that's a little bit of a concern, a little bit of a variant. Like, they have, like, uh, divisions in this one or whatever, just like how, like, uh, um, Battlefield 1 had, like, preset... And Battlefield normally has, like, preset loadouts. Like, you only have, like, you can only use these guns with this specific class. That's what uh, they're having uh, World War II, it looks like. Um, depending on what uh, division yeah, you're I read in, about it. You, you use a different gun. The, so, if you're in, like, a well, scout... Well, it's not that... Everyone can use the same guns between the different divisions. It's just the different divisions get different buffs. So one particular division may, might excel in, in assault rifle damage. So you're going to want to use assault rifles with that division. Yeah, stuff like that. So it gets a little bit more uh, in-depth and stuff. But, you know, in, in general, from the gameplay that I watched yesterday, it definitely seemed much an improvement over the past couple of releases. And I hope to God it is. And if not, the campaign should be fun because I love history. So it'll be good for that. Somebody else here can talk about Destiny 2 because I know nothing about it. Well, they lied to us in Destiny 1, so I will not be back Destiny 2 for at least six months. <laughs> um, from what I saw in the beta, Destiny 2 is going to be pretty good as far as I'm concerned. Definitely a few changes and stuff to the uh, subclasses and whatnot. It'll be uh, different new weapons and whatnot. I mean, it's definitely got the same feel to it, but definitely new and improved as far as I see. WWE 2K18 looks phenomenal. Uh, you it's the only game that really matters. It's coming out delightful. Yes, it does look delightful. <laughs> it renders the previous was... WWE is obsolete. <laughs> <laughs> what was the word MP used like in every sentence when he got back from his Lovely. vacation? I know. I think oh, it was cool. delightful. I think I actually used delightful. I really think it was delightful. But just wonderful. I, it was both. It was wonderful. wonderful. I did say lovely. lovely. I know I said lovely at least once. Lovely, wonderful. I was in a real good mood. I'll try to use more positive adjectives <laughs> moving forward. Just more colorful adjectives, like you know, everything's dreadful. You know. <sighs> yes. Well, the best well, game that's uh, going to be coming out is Red Dead Redemption 2, but that won't be until the spring. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah. 
it's going to be pretty awesome. All right, and that's it. That's uh, going to be all the questions. Would be a huge game. And in case I wise, the new Call of Duty and Destiny will both be uh, very much the games to play. I don't know, man. My Roku division is going to get started. Halo. Farming Simulator 18 looks pretty dope. <laughs> oh, wow. We gotta start that Rocket League squad. Hey, by the way, I wanted to take this opportunity as we wind down this town hall to just ask Miss Hooters here if she's been on her forums account in the last couple hours. Oh? No. Because oh. it's deleted. Oh. The final deletion. No, I'll just, you know, you may or may not have gotten a, a little award. Oh. It is pointless and meaningless, and for some reason you've been obsessing over it, and so I thought I'd give it to you before Look, I went crazy. Right. Okay. Well, thank you. I'm an award. Can, can we I was in competition with someone for awards, you know? For who? Oh, Hawk? Yeah, he has been driving every. He has been <laughs> asking and asking and asking about getting that Navy award. Because he's no. in the Navy. No. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get we'll get Hawk the Navy award. We'll we'll try to standardize that or something. Uh, not for every award, but like for like our military services. If you're in that service, we'll just give you that military service award. We'll find a way to standardize it and make it easier. But yeah, uh, does anyone want to say anything to take us out? Anyone want to hum us a ditty, a hum us a tune? My homes. My oh sorry. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, y'all, uh, as we close out, we hope you enjoyed it. We hope that you, over the next month, hopefully we taught you something, enlightened you on something, made us, made you feel like we're open and approachable, and you can talk to us, and we can work together to make a better KSI. We'll be back the last Friday of every month. Um, so we'll be back the last Friday of September for our September town hall. We hope that you kind of keep a list in your mind, written down somewhere, it doesn't matter, of questions, ideas, suggestions, concerns, uh, recommendations, etc., etc., for us to go over when we do this next month. And until then, uh, stay golden, pony boy. Oh, wow. I see what you did there. <laughs> that was nice.